Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode three. Yep, episode three of season two of Oshinoku. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Shit. Take two in three, two, one, go. There we go. Okay, I gotta download this song before this episode is like... We're downloading this song after this episode is over. Before we watch Gigi Haram and Isekai. Okay, okay. Uh, like, but no, like, instantly when she said that, you know what I was thinking. I'm like, uh, uh. Just wants to stick up. It's this one right here. I don't like this. <gasps> Did I get it? No, you stupid girly. Eh, it's kind of better. You gotta love having your natural poof back in your hand in your life. And you're like, oh my god. Uh. I'm just ready to get a braid of gum. Well, duh, I mean, because popular. Like you're actually there, right? Yeah! <laughs> mm -hmm. Good, see? Now you appreciate it. Oh. Oh. 
Don't mind me. Well, that and also, plus you're on a date with her. <laughs> oh. See, I had a feeling that would happen because pressure, hearing stuff from the creator, you'd be like, fuck it, you can't do it, I'll do it my fucking self. I get that. I don't think anybody did. I, I just still wish that there could have been a compromise where he could have worked with her and that she could have been like, okay, no, this is wrong because of X, Y, and Z. <laughs> oh 
all of the tension. <laughs> I really like your top. I just want to see what your bottoms are. I mean, is it a skirt? Is it pants? We doing skinny jeans? Like, I want to know. It's pretty. Very. <laughs> Of course. And the other. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing that's how, you know, they currently feel with my hero, even though that's ending like in a month. It really in less than a month. that right I mean you're really the only one who can talk to her
Well, damn, babe. You can tell, like, even though she is truly happy for her, I think she, you know, the jealousy in it, but like, God damn. But they still care for each other, and that's good. I get that. What is it? <laughs> That's okay. Jesus, honey, that's too much on yourself. Two hours? You need sleep. See, this shit right here reminds me of, um, I think that, what, what was the fucking show that I watched? I think it was Bakuman? The, the other show that's by the people from Death Note. Like, straight up. It's so much pressure to deal with. I feel so bad for them. Right? She's right. Yeah, you're just stressed right now.
the fucking shade between these two. I love it, but like, <laughs> this banter, I can't. Hey, she being truthful though. See, there once again their banter reminds me of my group of friends. Like sometimes when I get really drunk, blabber ass mouth. But I, I love talking. I love talking and flirting. <laughs> Y'all did this all fucking night. Jesus Christ.
am hoping for next week's episode is that the guy who was writing for the play, and you know, he is sitting on the sidelines and stuff because you know, technically fired, fucking fired. Maybe she goes, apologizes to him, and just be like, okay. I get it. You tried to write it. You couldn't, I, like, satisfy me in a way. <laughs> Electric chair, you're fired, but mm -mm, I'm going to do this because you can't do shit. It's like that. But something tells me after her seeing the play, she's going to be even more inspired and more, like, hopeful and helpful and wanting help, possibly. I'm not 100% sure on that. I get it, especially looking at her, how she's doing everything by herself. Um, but the fact is, you fired your whole crew. And it's just you. That is a lot of pressure on one fucking person to try to get something done by a fucking deadline. Like, okay, me? I'm gonna be very fucking honest. Alright, let's talk about the fact is, I haven't done a Patreon video in a hot ass minute. But a good couple of weeks um, and such. Between everything that is going on in my life as of right now, between getting into the last couple of days of my current job before I go into my new job um, and stuff, I have been very, very busy. There are days where I come home and I am extremely tired. I am about to be even more tired than I normally am when I'm working at the store that I'm eventually leaving in like two days. Um... Because I might be working like eight hour shifts. Like, I don't know. We're, we're gonna, I'm gonna try to make a video tomorrow and try to have it come out Monday morning um, and such. But yes, I have been a little skeptical and like doing ish because like Wednesday, Wednesday and Thursdays are my days off and stuff. And like Wednesday when I wake up, I am like, I don't wanna do ish. It, it was worse because as you can see, Tuesday night, duh, had to take my hair out. And I didn't have the right. <laughs> blow dryer and stuff and so I had to buy that yesterday and I was I was seriously about to record this episode in my like bonnet headscarf and such and I'm like I don't really want to show that I did that once and I don't want to do it again but I was really close to saying fuck it but then at the same time we had a damn thunderstorm and such um but I, I totally get how she feels it is a lot of pressure and such me doing videos almost every single day or how I was versus how I am now where I'm like, okay, I'm not doing videos every single day. I am like, these are the days that I want off so that on the days off I can record something else. I can get that done so that it doesn't stress me out. Because let me tell you something, I don't like being stressed. I hate being stressed. I hate when I come home from work and I'm like, I gotta hurry up and get this done. I gotta hurry up and get that done. Um... Or if work is super hectic and scheduling and let's say I only have like maybe a Thursday or Friday to get something done. I stress myself out and a lot. <laughs> like a lot, a lot. Because <laughs> mind you, like to y'all, it's I'm only watching five, but I'm in a way I'm almost watching like close to ten. And I can still do those big, big numbers. That's why I still at the same time I fucking limit myself because I how I used to be there is a person, I'm not going to name that person because we've already talked about this person. Um, this guy used to do ish every single fucking day um, and such. And I remember me and him, we, we were talking and such and he was just always like wanting to do ish. I'm not going to say the controversy that he was in um, because I don't feel like it and stuff. It's just very triggering for some people including myself so I'm like eh, not gonna talk about that shit um but when we were talking before that situation popped up um yeah he was doing stuff all day and I remember like seeing how tired and how drained he was and I even said to him I was like why don't you like kind of half your stuff and stuff that's why like every single season I try to do like an X amount, and then yeah, if like one show out of my five or my ten is like not doing the greatest, I will then yes, cut that shit off and go. Uh, Cause a dead ass, I thought I was gonna do that for Suicide Squad. He's okay. <laughs> I really thought, but no, 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 no. But still, this was an interesting episode. Though even though we only got to see a little bit of the play, I would have loved to seen like at least 
maybe a good five, ten minutes of it. But to be in that experience, now you can see why Akane is like, I am in love with this. And Aqua being like, yeah, I now understand why you're like so advocate and you support this and you just this is your thing this is your niche this is your magnum opus you love this shit so freaking much because like 4d plays and in being you're in the moment with them it, it's similar to how like when you're watching like a broadway musical or a regular broadway production just something where it's like very much immersive and that's what it was especially i think even in the first episode when we got to see like the start of the play it felt very immersive and it feels like you're there in the moment with them and you're experiencing everything. You ain't on stage with them, nah. But you're just, you know, you're there. And I think the last time I felt like that, not not in an anime, well, yeah, a couple of animes, um, I had this one random moment in high school <laughs> where this guy <laughs> was doing, um, I think, a two or three minute or five minute monologue. And you know how like when some people they always like look out at somebody in the audience. Mind you, I am in the front row. I'm like in the front left hand side of the row. And he dead ass makes eye contact with me. And you know how like when, when someone just picks you out and they just look at you and you have like their energy is like conveying to you or like if they're trying to be flirtatious like ish i felt everything that <laughs> that day and it was so freaking hilarious because all my guy friends were like do you know him i was like no i was like i just know that feeling i was like because as someone who's been on the other side i've done that too where you're just more immersed with the person and you're like i i want to convey this and so i am hoping that after the fact that she saw the place she's like oh shit i think i know how to do this but we won't know until next Wednesday, but other than, no, what, one more thing. Love the fact that Ruby got mentioned today. Got a little bit of a focus today. Because, like, dead ass, I'm like, we on episode three. No, we were on episode two. And I was like, where's my child? Like, where's my idol? Damn, so thank you. I need that. I need, like, as much as I love me some Aqua and Akane and, and even Kana with her acting gig, I need idol singing -ness. But I get it. Kana is a busy bitch. Bad bitch. Let's go. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to episode 3 of season 2 of Oshinoko. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 4. But until then, I will see you guys the next time. Bye. Thank you.